On behalf of Phil and Kristen's families, I want to warmly welcome each and every one of you to this very special day and uh, grand and happy occasion. Uh, marriage is a time when a growing love is made public, when two people share mutual promises before God and before man. And today is a day that we know is filled with great joy and anticipation and emotion. Phil, you've been my friend for longer than I can remember, and I'm really grateful for our friendship. In the past few years, since I've been out east, we haven't gotten to spend much time together, but I really look forward to catching up every time I come back to town, talking about old stories and new adventures. Above all, that you will bless Kristen and Phil. I pray that they will love each other until they get old. I pray that their life will be filled with fun and enjoyment and togetherness. May they continue to find new avenues to spend together, that they will enjoy together, and that they will work at it. And I just pray, God, again, I thank you. I thank you for Kristen, for all she's meant to me and to these women around me. She is a wonderful, unique individual in the last year. that Kristen and I were best friends is an understatement. She has been my rock through many things. So throughout the years, I've watched her grow into this truly loving, smart, strong, and, well, really, someone I want to be when I grow up. Our Father, we do give you thanks today for Kristen and for Phil. Lord, what a, what a great couple that stands before us today. So many good things ahead of them. Lord, we know that you have brought them together by your grace. And God, I pray that you would give them all that they will need to establish a home that honors you. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We uh, thank you for how you've worked in Phil's life and Kristen's life and led them to this point. Um, overseeing every aspect of their lives and brought them to this day when they're joining two into one and we just ask that you would be part of this entire day we pray that you would oversee the ceremony may the message of your love come through for all to experience Kristen I promise to give you the best of myself I promise to trust and respect you as your own person to let you have your own interests, desires, and needs that are no less important than my own. Seeking the will of God in our lives, I will daily lay down my need to be right. I promise to be the spiritual leader of our home. I promise to share with you my time and my attention and to bring joy, strength, and imagination to our relationship. I promise to keep myself open to you, encourage your dreams, and help shoulder your challenges. I promise to grow along with you, to be willing to face change in order to keep our relationship alive. I promise to stand by your side and to be your faithful partner in all things. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, completely and forever. Phil, I promise to give you the best of myself. I promise to trust you and respect you as your own person, to let you have your own interests, desires, and needs that are no less important than my own. Seeking the will of God in our lives, I will daily lay down my need to be right. And that's really tough sometimes. <laughs> I will honor you as the spiritual head of our home. I promise to share with you my time and my attention and to bring joy, strength, and imagination to our relationship. I promise to keep myself open to you, encourage your dreams, and help shoulder your challenges. I promise to grow along with you, to be willing to face change in order to keep our relationship alive. I promise to stand by your side and be your faithful partner in all things. I promise to love you in good times and bad, completely and forever.
And so Lord, we thank you for Phil and for Kristen, for this very special relationship. And now I pray the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen.